Dear Brothers and Sisters in Christ, Today is the first day of 2023. Happy New Year. To start off the year, we will be looking at the first chapter of the first book of the New Testament. We are going to be looking at Matthew chapter 1. This chapter of the Bible contains the genealogy of Jesus, and it is a chapter that is often overlooked or skipped over. However, it's a chapter that is full of rich and meaningful lessons for us. First and foremost, it is important to recognize that this genealogy is not just a list of names. It is a record of God's faithfulness and His sovereign plan for the salvation of humanity. As we read through this list of names, we see how God used ordinary people with all their flaws and weaknesses to bring about His great purpose. One of the most striking examples of this is the inclusion of four women in this genealogy. Tamar, Rahab, Ruth, and Bathsheba. These women were not perfect, and they all had their own unique struggles and challenges. Tamar was a widowed daughter-in-law who resorted to trickery to have children. Rahab was a prostitute in Jericho who betrayed her own people to help the Israelites. Ruth was a Moabite who, despite being an outsider, devoted herself to her mother-in-law and became an ancestor of Jesus. And Bathsheba was an adulterer who was used by God to bring about the birth of Solomon. Yet despite their flaws and imperfections, God used these women to bring about his plan for the salvation of the world. He chose to use them to bring Jesus into the world, to be the Savior of humanity. This is a powerful reminder that God can and will use anyone, no matter their background or past mistakes, to accomplish His will. Another lesson we can learn from this genealogy is the importance of perseverance. As we read through this list of names, we see how the line of Jesus was preserved and protected, even in the face of great adversity. Despite being exiled, enslaved, and facing numerous challenges, the people of God persevered and remained faithful to God's plan. This is a lesson that we can all take to heart. In our own lives, we will face challenges and adversity, but we must persevere and remain faithful to God. We must trust that He is in control and that He will bring about His will in His own time and in His own way. Finally, we can see in this genealogy the importance of God's covenant promises. Throughout this list of names, we see how God fulfilled His promises to His people. He promised Abraham that he would be the father of a great nation, and he fulfilled that promise through the line of Jesus. He promised David that he would always have a descendant on the throne. 
And he fulfilled that promise through Jesus, who is the eternal King. These covenant promises are a reminder of God's faithfulness and his love for us. No matter what challenges or hardships we face, we can trust that God will keep his promises to us. We can hold on to his word and his promises and find hope and encouragement in them. In conclusion, as we look at Matthew chapter 1, we see the faithfulness of God, the importance of perseverance, and the power of God's covenant promises. May these lessons encourage and strengthen us as we seek to follow Jesus and live out his calling on our